Hi everybody, it's Dr. Kelly. I'm here to talk to you about one of your thyroid hormones. Last time we talked about TSH, and TSH is not a thyroid hormone. Okay, remember, it's a brain hormone. It tells your thyroid gland, make more, make less hormone. I'm here to talk to you about T4. That should be one of the key ingredients that your doctor tests if they're gonna test your thyroid properly. T4 is the hormone that's made in abundance from your thyroid gland. The problem is it's not very active. T4 is actually the main component in synthetic or man-made thyroid hormones. Synthroid or levothyroxine are considered synthetic T4. T4 is not very active. So when you think about thyroid disease and you wanna have more energy, you wanna have more clarity, you wanna get rid of the brain fog, you wanna sleep well at night, well, you need to have a lot of T4, but it has to convert into another hormone that we'll talk about next time. T4 is valuable to measure. We wanna make sure that you have enough of it. T is, stands for a key ingredient, tyrosine. Okay, that's a protein that is needed. And the number four stands for the number of iodine molecules. You have to have four iodine attached to each tyrosine to make T4 or thyroxine. I bet you didn't know that before. So when I help a patient boost their thyroid hormone, help to support their thyroid, I give them some of those key ingredients, specifically the iodine. And salt is also very important or the body can't get iodine into the thyroid gland. Now, I don't want you going and eating a whole bunch of Morton's table salt because that's not very good for you. Celtic salt, Himalayan sea salt are great for you and very important in your body. Again, salt is needed to get iodine into your thyroid gland so that it can make the thyroxine, the T4, the most abundant thyroid hormone in your body. Stay tuned. We're going to talk more about T3 next time and also reverse T3. Have you heard of that one before? I bet not, but I'm going to teach you all about it.